It's officially our last day in our place in Tbilisi. We've been here for over two months. We're cleaning up now, getting our stuff packed. There's a lot of stuff to move. Heading to Dubai tomorrow. We got a long drive to Kataisi. And we're gonna take the plane, plane from Kataisi to Dubai and then we're gonna be gone for like six weeks. It's gonna be an adventure. Yeah, we planned this three days ago. Uh, basically the whole, well not the whole trip. We have a route, but we have not gotten everything. Yeah. 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 Did you show them your beautiful drive and drive? I have not yet. We never did an official house tour. You've seen some snippets of the not house. True. But we'll show you a totally destroyed, putting everything away house tour after we get one last view. As you remember when we got here, I showed this view a couple times. This mountain has just been covered in snow for like the last week and a half, two weeks. We were gonna spend the next like month, two weeks to a month going around uh, Georgia and the mountains and Armenia and stuff, but it got super cold and it's snowing like every day. It's crazy. But anyways, this was my room. My computer was here for about half the time. And then we had to rearrange it because the window cracked and the person came over. We had the whole place rearranged. It was crazy. This was Isaac's room. We had that big desk in there right here for a while. It was going to be for his computer, but his computer got toasted on the airplane. Our bathroom. It got really stinky in here sometimes. I'm not sure why. The nice Wi-Fi connection to where my computer is now. This has been where it's been for like the last month. Our nice setup here is where we did reactions on Patreon a lot. This is my contraption I'll get it over with right now. Uh, my, my clothes last night in the washing machine decided, eh, we're gonna get it extra soaked today. And none of them are even close to dry, so I'm gonna have to blow dry these mothers until they're better. Sink, kitchen and stuff, no microwave, unfortunately, which sucked. We got the old Xbox. Came in all the time and that was our place. Pretty nice place. A little more expensive from our Georgian friend told us then. A lot more expensive than we should be paying in this area, but we had a nice view. We had two rooms, we had decent Wi-Fi. Not a bad place. We'll see where we end up when we come back to Georgia, but for now, let's go to Kataisi. I'm gonna get a haircut too. Those are trucks. What does that mean? Look at the kill kid. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Down the highway, and suddenly it splits off, and the 
the towns are just crossed out on the side. We're like, they're crossed out! That's scary. I feel like we're in like Colorado in the winter. Yeah, yeah. It really looks like it. Just with a bit of different buildings. Yeah, a little bit different. We apologize for the inconvenience. Uh, sometimes it's from the Georgian Road Association. Ah, they have it. At least they apologize for it. I feel better now. China State Construction. So interesting. So, so just, oh my god. All right. China is just helping help build the roads. They're just setting up shop in here, getting their influence. Interesting. I'm very curious when we come back and this will all be greened out. It's gotta be. That'll be pretty cool. Another, hey, look at it, another bridge. Yeah, we've seen a lot of these roads. It's just a bridge, but with no bridge cars. Oh boy. We're hitting the traffic. Wow, the snow is deep. Yeah, it is pretty thick. They're building, they're building a new road up there. Oh yeah. That must be with that bridge is gonna it's gonna like connect over there somewhere. That's good they're building a new road. This one sucks. Oh my gosh. Interesting, Georgia. Oh and we're in the tunnel. Oh, there's a lot of flashing lights in the tunnel oh, on the man. GoPro. Rusty. We're over halfway through the tunnel. Oh my gosh. This is why you're here for epic tunnel footage. We can call this video Epic Tunnel. Epic Tunnel. It'd be like one of the old YouTube videos. We can we can do uh top three luxurious uh, tunnels in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. We made it! It might be a cliff still, we don't know for sure. And we won't know. We'll have our ten feet. Because we're just behind this Mercedes-Benz bus. So fancy. Alright, back to the snow, baby. Look how high that is. Oh my. This is an update on the situation. It's very hard to see out of the window. And there's tons of massive potholes. And we're still following the bus. Fun, fun, fun. I ain't never given it again. Caution to win complete freedom. Look at these rappers have a freedom. So why the fuck would I join them when I beat them? The day continues. It has been a treacherous, treacherous drive. As you can hear, those cars are just zooming by. Lots of stuff going on. But there's this interesting, like, mountain town out here. And I figured, let's check it out. Let's, let's bloody check it out. Oh, yes. So watch this fracker. <laughs> it's a little better <laughs> than this. The frack, why is it like this? This windshield wiper is very oomper. We decided to pull over here. There's a very intriguing looking bridge over there into this apartment complex. So why not check it out? Out here in the middle of the mountains, randomly just got some Soviet apartment buildings popping up. Pop, pop, pop. And that bridge. That is the bridge. And this is the treacherous path to the bridge. Let's not die. We're gonna get splooshered. It's quite the bloody path. Great, I should have worn my hiking boots. Oh, frack. I should have worn my boots. My chance to go on the road. On the road! Road! Oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> There's one car coming. Uh, 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 we're almost there. We're gonna make it before the car. Oh! Frick! Where the frick did that person pull all the way over? Woo! Everyone's staring at us. It might have been passing. What? Oh my gosh. This is sketchy as nuts. Whoa. It's in just a bridge in the daily life. This is pretty crazy. I mean, look at these things. This is what we're walking on. Right into the abyss. 
Seems like these could fall at any yeah. time. Now these are a little thicker. You know. Wow. Whew. And that's the bridge. Very wow. interesting. Wow. That brings us to this area. Some apartment complex. What the heck? I've been to this one. There's like no public no buildings. No, yeah. The Russian like. It was just like a random hut in small, tiny villages. There's a lot of chickens around here too. Chickens. Wow. Interesting. What a weird place to like discover. This time of year, living out here has to be a little bit uncomfortable. A lot of mud. What is that? There's just like a hose. Do they suck this out of the river? It might. Interesting. Really interesting. Don't want to like get to them. We don't want to pull a travel vlogger and just walk around people's homes and be like, Oh, Ooh, hey, hey. Right here. Yeah. Give them their privacy, but also take a little peek at it. It's pretty epic. It's just so much like, it's so different for us, this Soviet architecture, especially out somewhere like this in the middle of nowhere. Maybe let's mosey over to the road over here. I want to see what the actual like village looks like. I did not bring my boots, unfortunately, and it's very muddy and wet. Wow. So we have some pavement here. The pavement just ends once it gets into the apartment complex. And then they're just like, ah, slosh it up. It is quite sloshy. It is. Not sure 100% what this town is actually called. Oh boy. Whoa. He almost didn't make it on that one. <laughs> Shora Pani. Seems like it's like for out in the middle of nowhere, it's not like super tiny. There's some buildings. Yeah, it goes all the way over to there. Some shops down the road. Interesting mountain road we have here. It's construction is just constant on here. There's just so many things going on. And then uh you have, this is obviously a popular road that tourists take and stuff to get to Kataisi, there's just stalls all along the road. You have these stalls and these construction trucks, and then there's just mud everywhere. The snow is it's melting scary. off the mountain, and... And it's also, like... It's bad it's weather. Nice day yet no, bad, bad weather. Old Soviet building, probably. Looks like it could be the size of like a school or something. Interesting. Very old houses. some flat tires but. yeah yeah they probably aren't gonna get you around too well rural georgia 
neighborhood. In the mountain. This is what it looks like. We got some old goats on the side of the mountain, of course. And an old fortress right here. What else is more Georgian than a fortress with goats on it? Yes, broken down old fortress on a hill. With some good old bars. Train tracks go right through the city. What you could find in the mountains of Georgia. Our last day here for a while. This fracking weather is the reason we're leaving for six weeks. This snow, if, there was, if this wasn't here, we'd still be here. But with this temp, we gotta get out of this place for at least a little bit. There's a fence. Oh, son of a fracker. Did you step in that? Yeah. The fence did just open. <laughs> oh, a pool. Wow. What a fancy fort. It has a fracking pool. How deep is this pool? I need a rock. I think there's a church up there. Oh, baby. Pretty decent sized city. It's just very spread out. Just right through the valley. A little crevice. A crevice. Wow. Wow. We're in the mountains. It's not too bad weather wise out here, even. Oh. Fracking Georgia. Oh, look at that. Just some random town. And it looks like fracking this. Look at those big mothers back there. Dang. And of course, it has two river rivers just flowing right through it. Yeah, Georgia has quite a ton of rivers. Yeah. Wow. Let's see what else is around this fort. Nice little place we discovered. Wow. Before we leave the snow, we have to go sledding. Whee! Whoa! All look right. At, look at my perfect snowball I made. Wow. Wow. It's gone. <laughs> All right, polar plunge. All right. Three, two, one. Whoa! I, I lost a few pounds. <laughs> Here we are, almost at the top. There's this weird looking, I don't know what these things are, signal fires? Yeah, possibly. As we were coming up, it was, it was pretty steep. I almost didn't make it. It was, you know, steep, but it was snow. And I have these terrible grip shoes on. These don't even have grips on the steps. So, and I just, whoop, slip a -roondered, fell directly onto my left knee. And I don't know if there's a mark or anything. No. But I landed directly on a rock. And it just, like, I got up kind of right away and tried to walk. And I just slipped again in the snow. So then I just sat down. I got my booty all wet. But yeah, I almost died. It hurt my leg. My leg still feels weird. It like shot, a pain shot down my whole leg to my foot. But they GoPro's dead, so we're on the phone now. If it's, a, if it's not as hyper smooth. It's not going to be as hyper smooth, unfortunately. The snow is thick. The crazy thing about this snow we were just talking about is you go underneath two inches of snow, there's green grass. Yeah, yeah. It's very interesting. Oh, oh frack. I almost, I almost died again. We're almost to the top here. Really? I'm glad we found this little spot. I was itching to get off the road. I am, my leg hurts from fracking driving. Uh-oh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. 
I'm going to die. I can't see nothing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See how I follow these old doggo tracks? I don't trust this dog anymore. This is quite a steep trail up. Oh, yep. I don't think I'm going to make it. Not with these fracks. Oh, oh frack! <laughs> we both fell at the same time. I wonder if I can frack and make this. Oh, frack. It's so slippery. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Very steep and muddy. <laughs> oh, great. Perfect. We didn't expect there to be like a whole snowy fort mountain to climb, so I just brought my shoes. Huge mistake. Oh, great. That may not be fun to come down. I just slipped standing here. It's just like a slide. <laughs> Sledding. We. Wow. But yeah, fort. We couldn't make it to it. We suck. We don't have our clamp-ons. No. We could have made it if we had our clamp-ons. Dang it. I'm going to die. I'm literally going to die. <laughs> People come up from over there? Where the heck? Ours had a fence. My old walls. Really cool. Some weird like church here. It's locked, unfortunately. Church. When we went to the Nugget, it was open. Nugget's better. Nugget is better. We're coming down to the place where I slipped a few times and almost died. And uh, we're slipping all the way down here. <laughs> you can't tell what's underneath. My socks are absolutely soaked. My pants are soaked. That's not good. Oh boy, that pipe is going for it. They're gonna blame us for that. Is that why the grass is green? It's getting watered? Is it like that before? Eww. Ah. I don't remember that. What's if water just started getting pumped? I don't remember that. Oh God. What could have we done to it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, there. This is where the carnage happened. Right there. That was almost the end. That was so much fun. I want to relive it right now. Oh, it's so slippery. Whee! It's just going to be a hole. Whee! Oh, it was actually working for a moment. Oh. Oh. There's so much snow in my shoes now. <laughs> oh. Dang, nabbit. That's cold. Oh gosh. Ah! This is mega oompers. Mega oompers. This is our adventure of the day. Other than that, we've been sitting in the car and we went to Wendy's. It wasn't even the world's largest Wendy, so it's not ever as good. Crack this. Yoinkers! Oh, geez, this thing broke. All right, we getting made down, it. Getting down this now. Probably wouldn't feel super great to fall down this, but probably be all right unless you got hit by a car once you hit the bottom. Yeah, thank you, Rod. Watch out, there's rocks and snow here. Oh no! Oh geez, it is quite treacherous. It's my biggest weakness. Rocks, snow, and $13 shoes. We made it! Woo! Woo! Yeah. That's a big dog though.
Why are so many people honking? I don't know. Did something happen? We happened. Oh! This bridge has some cracks in it. Under the train track. We got goat and doggo. Oh, that goat's head is all the way turned around. Oh, what the nut? <laughs> That's a mini goat. <gasps> oh, hey doggo, hey buddy. Goats. That, that woman over there is definitely off her rocker, I think. Yeah. She was talking to the goats before we went over there. And she's kind of just been wandering around. She was poking the, the water with a stick earlier too. Uh-oh. Now we have to find our stupid guest house out in the neighborhoods. And Google Maps can't find the exact address. So we have to just search for it on the street. Um, you can go right or left. You don't even want to know how much better this road is than the other one. Well, everyone, we've made it to the airport. It's time. It's time! Now we have to see COVID test wise. Uh, Abu Dhabi website says you don't need one, and then our airlines like you need one. Like, so we'll see what they say to us. We don't have one at the moment. Oh boy! Oh, we're only going on a plane. Wow! Abu Dhabi. When you come to Abu Dhabi, you have to get a green pass. And we got here and we didn't have our test, so we had to go to the test. We also didn't have any connection with our phone. I got I could get connection on my US SIM card, but we couldn't get my US SIM card in my phone without a paper clip. And we couldn't get a paper clip without going into a building, which we needed a green pass for. <laughs> so we couldn't go in any buildings. We couldn't get a paper clip from any buildings. Had no connection. We walked to the McDonald's down there. Got some Wi-Fi. We got our QR code. And we came back to the hotel. If there's a paper clip and then we got in and we did it and we're here and we still can't get our green pass because my text won't go through. Yeah, and I don't have my SIM card from the phone number I entered and it doesn't let you change the phone number if it isn't a UAE phone number for some reason. But we have Ducky here. We stole him! Yay! Yeah, I guess you guys, if the vloggers might not know a ton about Ducky. Oh yeah, he's in every reaction and Patreon video. But we have, and we've stolen him now, so you will be seeing him a lot more Yay. on these trips. Look at Ducky! Ducky, you've traveled country! Let's go see what ruckuses we can have in Abu Dhabi. Look at that mosque down there. Wow, it looks yeah. so big from in the GoPro. It's massive. Da -na 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 -na. I'm Heisenberg. Let's eat these mothers. We're at the Heisenberg restaurant. We got Heisen fries. These things look nutty. Jalapeno, like onion rings, like onion crisps, some cheese sauce, and some bacon bits. This has got to be poppin', bro. Sauce is kind of sweet. 
Can we get the saltiness of the cheese and the fry? And the crisp on it? It's got a little spice from the jalapeno. Whoa, there's a lot going on in that thing. <laughs> it looks like a lot going on. You got an infused cheeseburger with a black bun. You got the cross section here. They should have made it blue. Heisenberg is blue. Meth is blue. That would have been cool. Here we go. Oh, that's a lot of cheese. That is indeed a lot of cheese. So his is like a cheese, like a Juicy Lucy, which we have in Minnesota. It's like a thick burger, but it's stuffed with cheese. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is a cheesy mother. It literally looks yellow on the camera. Like, it doesn't even look like there's anything else in there. And black. <laughs> <laughs> I got the 59 burger. It's got, what does it have on it? I don't remember. Peanuts. Oh yeah, peanuts and fried potatoes, cheese, sauce, stuff like that. It's pretty interesting. It is so, very good. That's an interesting prospect. Yeah, whoa. Let's try it. Not the taste you expect on a burger. You get the sweetness of the peanuts. Mm. Yeah. It doesn't even seem like there's that much on there. This is a really high quality burger. Really good. It's so soft. Yeah, my black bun's very soft also. Wow. Heisenberg. Keep selling meth. I don't know about that. Gabe. <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> Duck. Fine drops. We loaded up on the fine drops. <laughs> we need to make sure we can get them wherever. This is 20, 280 grams of sugar right here. <laughs> we needed them. That's the end of the vlog. We had a long journey leaving Tbilisi, obviously. We had a very chaotic day getting out of there getting on the plane, getting to Abu Dhabi, but we finally made it, got some good burgers. We didn't eat really much the last 36 hours and sleep. I probably got max four each night. And I've been having very bad digestive issues from the Indian buffet we had. So, ah, uh, it's been fun. Tomorrow we going nuts.